This result is deeply disappointing for everyone who so desperately needed real change in our country. I want to thank everyone who campaigned and every single person who voted for the Labour Party. As leader, I take full responsibility for the result. We must now take time to reflect on what has happened, to listen and to understand. The attacks on us from some in the media have been more ferocious than we've ever known, but I'm proud that no matter how low our opponents went, we refused to join them in the gutter. I'm proud that ours was a people-powered campaign, not bankrolled by billionaires. And I'm proud that our message was one of hope rather than fear. Ultimately, the divisions in our country over Brexit were too great for us to overcome in this election. But as the 2017 election showed, our programme is popular, ending austerity, protecting our National Health Service, investing in communities and tackling the climate crisis through a green industrial revolution. I'm proud that our movement has created a new political mainstream, one that is firmly anti-austerity and supports public ownership, which has inspired millions of people to engage in politics for the first time. Make no mistake, Labour is the greatest force for a progressive change this country has ever known. And though this wasn't our moment, our time will come. Because over the past four years, we've built a new movement which isn't going away. So to those who feel disheartened and feel like giving up, I say, stay and fight for a better society. And to those who haven't yet joined us, join the Labour Party today. Be part of the resistance to Boris Johnson and the politics of fear. This starts now. Campaigning to protect our communities, our National Health Service and public services must be relentless. So that when elections come, we'll be bigger and stronger. We will win. We will unite our country. We will build a society for the many, not the few.